Welcome to the first video in a series on numerical ODE and this video is about forward and backwards Euler. I'd like to open this course with a quote by Aristotle, a quote that I really like. Um, it says, It's the mark of an educated mind to rest satisfied with the degree of precision that a certain problem permits and not seek exactness when only approximation is possible. Now, we're dealing with ODEs in this course, and these are kind of easy to find analytic solution for. However, it's generally hard to solve for an analytic solution of a, of a PDE. Um, and this is where numerical solutions come into play. So this course is here to give you a taste of how these numerical solutions are usually approached. Okay. So the problem we would like to discuss in this video is that given, given an ODE um, of the form y prime equals to f of t, y of t, and um, for simplicity, let us take the uh, domain um, 0, 1, the interval 0, 1, and um, we, we have this initial value problem. Okay, and we'd like to find some numerical solution for this problem. Okay, so let us start by deriving the first method, which is forward Euler's method. Now, here's the idea. Whenever you want to derive a numerical method, uh, you need to start by discretizing your space. You need to start by discretizing the domain you're working with. In this case, our domain is just the interval 0, 1. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take this interval 0, 1, and we're going to partition it into n plus 1 points and plus 1 equidistant points, um, t0, then t1, then t2, and so on and so forth, until we reach tn minus 1 and tn. Okay? So we're taking the, the distance here to be h. So why are we doing that? We're doing that because we need a numerical solution. We need the value of y at specific points, right? Because we don't want an analytic solution. We don't want uh, a continuous solution. Okay, so after we partition the domain, we're interested in the value of y at the end. Because remember, the end goal of, of, of solving this initial value problem is to actually find y, right? So uh, we're interested in the value of y at the specific points tn. So let's see how we can derive a method to approximate the value of y at tn by the numerical solution yn. Um, so forwards Euler's method is, is given by yn plus 1 equals to yn plus h f of tn yn. Okay, and now we're Okay, and now we're going to derive forwards Euler's method. So let us see what is going on here. So remember, we're interested in uh, y at the specific points tn's, right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the ODE that we have, which is y prime equals to f. f. And then we're going to integrate this from tn to tn plus 1. Bear with me, bear with me till the end. Okay, so this thing over here is, is going to just be y at tn plus 1 minus y at tn. And this thing over here, we want to approximate. And here's one way of doing that. So let's say this is the interval 0, 1. And let's say that this is tn this is tn plus 1, right? And let's say that your function is actually given by this shape uh, in the interval tn, tn plus 1. So the idea of forward Euler is to approximate this function f on this interval by just its value at, the, at this point. So approximate the whole function by just this line. Right? We approximate the whole thing by this line. So what we're saying here is that we're going to approximate um, this function on the interval tn to tn plus 1 
by just the constant function, um, which is f at tn, yn, y at tn, dt. And now, what is this? What is this integral? This integral is just, now this is a constant independent of t, we can pull it outside and we have f of tn, y of tn, and the integral of tn to tn plus 1 of 1 dt. Now what is this? This is just tn plus 1 minus tn. But we've actually taken tn's to be equidistant with distance h, so this is just h. So overall, this is just h times f of tn, y of tn. And if we approximate y at tn by y sub n, uh, we actually get this method. You can actually compare the, the method here with what we have here. So this is the derivation of forward Euler's method. And uh, we, we have this method now. Now, you might ask a legitimate question, which is, how accurate is this method? And if we do that, like, if we keep approximating the function by, by its value at tn for every n, do we actually get something that makes sense or, or something that is nonsense? I mean, do we, get, do we really get an approximation of y at tn? And the answer is yes. However, the, the order of the conversions is order of each. And what does that mean? If you keep refining your partition, if you keep, um, if you keep adding more points and points, uh, you will actually converge to the solution. But this convergence to the solution is not so fast. It's a slow convergence. Okay? Now, what is the idea of backwards Euler? It's just a similar method to forward Euler's method. Of course, we're going to start by discretizing the space by introducing a mesh size. And we um, partition the domain 0, 1 into points ti. And we wish to approximate y at tn by y sub n. So to do that, we're going to introduce the method y at tn plus 1 is equal to y at tn plus h times y at tn plus 1, y at n plus 1. You should compare the difference between the two methods, which is like the, the indices we're taking um, in the argument of f. Um, it's, it's just a similar idea, however... Um, so let's say this is the interval 0, 1, and this is tn, and this is tn plus 1. The idea is that if, if this is the function that you have, say that this is the function at tn to tn plus 1, the idea is to approximate this function by its value at tn plus 1. And unlike what we did for forward Euler, we approximated it at tn. So now we're approximating the value of the function by a constant function, which is equal to the value of f at um, tn plus 1. So if we do that, we get this method. And now you might ask also, is this method uh, converging to the solution or it's just nonsense? And the answer is, it's actually converging, however, it's also converging slowly. It's also an order each convergence. It, it converges if we keep refining the mesh. It converges if we, if we quote-unquote, send h to zero. However, it's converging slowly. And the goal of the new video is to do new methods that are better in terms of convergence, that are faster.